opening with the queen's pawn. e6 prepares for a quick d5 pawn push and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. The light squared bishop and queen are given room to grow as move 4 fully controls the center. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. And d2 develops the knight and defends the e4 pawn. The d4 pawn is struck by c5, kicking off center play. X5 opens up the center after black recaptures the d5 pawn, white plans to develop with ngf3 and bd3 or bb5+. Qxd5 recaptures the pawn and develops the queen to a center square. Ngf3 develops the knight toward the center, defends the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Cxd4 captures the central d4 pawn and opens up the center. Bc4 develops the bishop to an active square, attacks the queen and prepares castling. Qd6 retreats the queen to the center where it controls many important squares. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e4 and d5 squares. Nb3 attacks the d4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Nc6 develops the knight toward the center, defends the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Nbx d4 captures the d4 pawn and places the knight on a central square where it attacks the knight on c6 and the pawn on e6. Nx d4 captures the knight and attacks the knight on f3. Qx d4 recaptures the knight and offers a trade of queens. Qxd4 captures the queen and attacks the bishop. Backs off. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action.